Hey guys, uh, I had someone ask me about how to calculate uh, the dog leg, how ATBA cal calculates the dog leg factor for holes. And rather than try to write something down, I thought I'd just put together a quick video of a few holes and show you my understanding of what the rules say in, uh, in ATBA. And if we take a look at the rules, you know, it says to move 25 yards perpendicular to the inside of the dog leg um, and then count the yardage that is cut off at this point. And then based on that yardage, it will determine whether it's gentle, normal, or severe uh, with these yardages. One thing I think um, they did kind of a poor job with is not, you see this 0 to 5, and it jumps to 10 to 20. Well, what happens between 5 and 10? And then 20 to 25 plus, what happens between 20 and 25? And I guess my general rule of thumb has been, although you don't really have to calculate the dog legs for APA because they give them to you. But anyway, I've always kind of said, once in a while I might say zero to seven and a half, and then everything greater than seven and a half to 20 is normal, or I might even, or do you go zero to 10, or zero to less than 10, 10 to less than 25, and then on. But anyway, that's, that's a arguable point that we could talk about, but here's what uh, they mean by the 25 yards and stuff. You go to the start of the dog leg and you count over 25 yards. So I, along this, on the inside of the dog leg, along the start of the dog leg line. So you got, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So this point then you measure straight across. And you can see here that we're about, see 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We're about right in the middle, which would be about 12 and a half yards. 5, 10, 15 in the middle would be 12 to 13 yards. But regardless, you know, that falls in a range of 10 to 20. So this should be a normal dog leg. And let's see, down here. Yep, this is a normal dog leg. So very simple. I got a couple more here. Um, this is, if we come to this hole, you got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So we scoot across here. It's a little more than five yards. Um, and if you would round down, it'd be zero to five. So on this one, I'm, I'm guessing that it's a, a gentle dog leg. And yes, it is. So um, that's that one. Here's a really sharp, severe one. So let's count this one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And we come over here, we are more than 15 yards. Um, and I'm not sure, let's, let's figure, oh yeah, okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, we come over, we're about 22 and a half yards. 10, that's 10, 20, somewhere between 20 and 25. Now, this is where it falls in that gray area. You got 10 to 20 for normal and 25 plus for severe. I don't, let's see what APA decided to do here. Okay, they call this a severe dog leg. I think I could make a, a, a case that it isn't based on less than 25 yards, but if you look at this dog leg, I guess common sense says it's pretty severe. That's all I can say for that. And then the last example, um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It's a little crooked here, but if we come over, you're at 5, 10, 15 down. That fall between the 10 and 20 range. I'm assuming this is a normal dog leg, and it is. So that's how... Um, at least I, I understand the rule and how it's calculated. And uh, uh, so hope this helps.